So, In the Dark Together. You know, when I first found out about this show in August, I fell in love with it completely. Before I get into the reason why I love the show, I'm going to tell you the basic synopsis of it. In the Dark Together is about seven friends in the dark. Yeah, the plot. Kinda questionable. Not really, but it's a bit questionable. So anyways, this pack of colorful glowing stick figures go on adventures, fight bad guys, and I heard there's gonna be this one villain called Violet, which I'm pretty excited to see. Also, just to let you know, this show is made by one of my best friends, Havoc. Now, let's start off with the characters. The characters are actually pretty interesting, and I'd rather know more of them. Red is a pretty interesting character, and might be possible of being the leader of this whole friends thing. Blue, uh, he needs some work. He definitely needs some work. Instead of, from what I've seen, he acts like he's a comic relief, which I'm pretty sure he needs his character to be more well-developed, but I'm pretty sure we have it can you know do that Let's start off with green another character that needs to be developed now i'm thinking she's a he or she i'm just gonna go on a limb and say it's a she getting by her voice she's not that much of an interesting character as of now so i think that's another characteristic or character that having needs to work on and now orange orange is uh Actually, he's pretty interesting. Ever since Orange's powers, I've always wanted to know more about him. And he's kind of like Pink, which I'll get to after Orange. He has these kind of powers, which is Torch Powers. Part 1 and 2 will be the finale. But yeah, Orange, okay character, still needs work. Now let's get on to Pink. Pink is pretty interesting. Ever since Orange's powers, Part 1, I've kind of gotten more interested in her and wanted to see what she is as a character as a whole she's also very caring to her friends which actually gives her more character development and makes her much more nicer than you know the usual seven of the group now to get to the soundtrack the soundtrack is the best i've ever heard from one of havoc's shows the dubstep use is very well needed and a little bit unoriginal but still it's really good I'd recommend checking out his soundtracks. They're actually really good and well made. Now, look, I know the music one acted like it wasn't even supposed to be here, but I just wanted to point out that short thing. Now let's get to the animation. The animation is, you know, your typical slideshow animation. But the thing is that it's very creative and uses stuff that I've never seen in some slideshow show. The faces of the characters kind of remind me of those object shows like BFBI uh, and Inanimate Insanity, which both of them are actually good shows and Havoc actually likes those shows. But still, the animation is a uh, 8 out of 10. No, it could use a little bit more movement, but still, the slideshow thing is actually pretty creative and is not much seen from those slideshow shows. The oh, plot is 8 out of 10. Uh, characters are a 7 out of 10. Uh, the music is a 9 out of 10. And the animation is an 8 out of 10. So far, my rating for this show is 9 out of 10. Overall, I think this show is very unappreciated and deserves more attention. The fact that so much work goes into a show like In the Dark Together is astonishing. And the creator of a show certainly has a passion of making the best episodes as possible. In the Dark Together is a very unappreciated show that deserves more attention because it has so much work put into it. The characters, while not the best, still are pretty good. The animation is pretty creative for a slideshow show. The music is just completely memorable. And let's not forget the comedy. The comedy was pretty bad when the show began, but now it's starting to get a bit funny and they're starting to get pretty good cracks at me. Overall, In the Dark Together is a really good show. I recommend trying it out once you have the chance to. And also subscribe to my friend Havoc who made the show and is a pretty good friend of mine. So, hope you liked this review and I'll see you guys next time. Also, again, don't forget to subscribe to my friend Havoc. He is a pretty good friend of mine and I recommend checking out his channel.